Hello Earthlings, welcome to yet another episode of Little Modular. Today we will take a closer peek at this small but really powerful module called Select 2 by Uranalog. When you look at the official site of this product, you see that they call it a Swiss Army knife. Well, it should be called a Belgian Army knife to be precise. But indeed, it is a very powerful and flexible tool that should find its way to any uh, modular setup. I like to call it mini mats, because just like the uh, famous uh, Make Noise module, it allows you for some essential modular system duties. You can attenuate the signal, you can invert the signal, you can mix signals, subtract, add, you can mute signals, you could perform some audio rate modulations, this could be a, for instance a ring modulator, this could be some uh, wave morpher, and there are dozens of different scenarios I'm sure that you will come up uh, when you familiarize yourself with this uh, little bugger. So let's dive straight into it and I will show you around on some simple examples so we can understand what it does. The first thing that you will probably notice is that the whole thing is divided into two sections, the upper A section and the lower B section. These are identical except one thing that the uh, upper section is normalized to the lower one if there is nothing plugged into the uh, output right here. This is a polarizer so uh, if it is set to the noon position, we have zero volts coming out from here. If there is nothing connected to each of the inputs. If it is in the uh, clockwise maximum position, it provides you plus five volts at the output. And if you set it up the other way, it's minus five. And you can see that there is a LED indicated in what range of the whole thing we are. So it's hot, plus or called blue minus. I have a small sequence prepared here. As for the audio setup, I have this 259 oscillator, which I'll be talking about really soon. That is going through Belgrade filter and then through Herbverb for some additional sparkles. And then I have a main melodic theme coming off from the uh, Erika Synth drum sequencer right here. This is also providing an LFO and the clock that I will use later on. And I also have Eloquencer running in the background that will provide some gating duties that we will also use in conjunction with Select 2. What I have done here is I have connected this output from Select 2 to one volt per octave input on Belgrad. So now when I move this, it provides offset to the filter. So I can open up the filter and I can close the filter, as you can hear. Okay. Now, the cool thing is that I also have two inputs in here. So I can connect something to this input and this input. This one is normalized to plus five. So it works in conjunction with this knob. But this one is connected to zero. So I can use that as a mute or on off thing. And I can switch between those inputs with this trigger input right here. So uh, let's see what will happen if I connect something in here, what that will do. Here goes the LFO from a drum sequencer. can hear it working, right? But we still have another input. So I can, for instance, connect something else in here, or I could just switch to this without connecting anything. Let's do that. I have a trigger from my uh, pressure points, from the uh, pads out, the uh, T gate thing and I can connect it to the uh, select right here. Now what this does is each time I press it it goes to zero volts. So to this position actually. 
so it doesn't do anything. So I can set up, for instance, an open filter with AFO. Then when I use the pressure points, it's switching to zero volts to this input, which is normalized to zero. I can, of course, connect something else in here. Like, for instance, a sequence from Eloquencer. So when I connect something in here, Okay, so now, without pressing anything, I'm hearing the LFO. But when I press pressure points, it's going to switch to this input, which is a sequence from Eloquencer. You can hear the pattern is different. Okay? We could also use that for transposing stuff. So let's leave the upper part controlling our bell grut and let's use the lower part for controlling the sequence. So what I'll do right now is I will detach the volt per octave control on my 259 that is coming from the uh, drum sequencer and I'm going to connect it here to input of the second section and then output of the second section back to the uh, key. And now I can transpose the whole sequence. Now what we could do, we could input a second sequence in here. So again, I'm going to use my eloquencer and I'm going to input it right in here to the uh, second section. And now I'm going to use the pressure points again to change the melodies. Here I have first sequence and here I have a second sequence. I'm connecting the pressure points to the select input again. And you can hear the first sequence. Now when I press the pressure points, the other sequence. Of course, I don't have to use pressure points. I can use some uh, sequence, like a sequence from my uh, Eloquencer. So it is going to switch between those melodies. Now, another thing I want to show you is the uh, hold input right here. This is the way how it works. Whenever a gate appears at the hold input, uh, the output is frozen at this specific CV point which is present at the input right here. So I have the uh, sequence from Erika Synth's drum sequencer. Now when I connect my pressure points again to this hold input, when I press the pressure points, See, it's frozen at the specific CV of the sequence. And the last input I would like to tell you about is the unity uh, input. This one works a little bit differently. If you input a gate here, it will bypass this polarizer and it will output a maximum of plus 5 volts. So, again, when I press my pressure points, you can hear it's outputting the maximum voltage. Some very flexible arrangements could be made with those two sections. I mean, there are literally hundreds of different things you can do with that. With sequences, modulation, uh, anything goes. And that is just the CV portion of that. So uh, now we're gonna use some plain oscillation. I'm gonna show you what you could do in the audio right here. You could, for instance, set it up as a morpher. The way you do that is that you connect one wave from an oscillator. Let's say I'm gonna connect a sawtooth from uh, my Rubicon to the first input. Then I'm going to connect a second uh, wave from the same oscillator, which is a square one. And the last thing I wanna do is to connect a pulse output from the same oscillator to the uh, select input. And then, of course, the uh, output goes to the mixer. Now, when I use the uh, pulse width knob on the Rubicon, it's morphing between those two waves, okay? 
another variation is to connect just two different sources like for instance still I'm having a wave from the Rubica and then I have some other wave from uh, from 259 connected and then we're switching between those two with some other source like a square wave from LFO which could of course go into audio rate okay like so so we can construct some layered different sounds we could also use that as a ring modulator for that you need a carrier and a modulator signal uh, for the modulator it's best to use square wave which I have connected to the unity input that's coming off the Rubicon and then I have the triangle wave courtesy of 259 VCO connected to the first input now when we fiddle with them both with the frequencies of Rubicon and the uh, and 259 we get this ring modulator kind of like sounds of course it's crucial to fiddle with the frequencies of both the carrier and the modulator so we can get some different results so as you can see just by looking at those few examples that select 2 is extremely flexible and a useful module it doesn't look really impressive but uh, what I can say that the build quality is impressive just like all uh, the other Iranolog modules I'm loving the uh, minimalistic design everything feels really solid and uh, it just looks so sweet next to the compare 2 and uh, I'm using this in almost every patch now there are of course some other utility modules that let you attenuvert, invert signals and, and mix them but Select 2 is offering some extra stuff like the uh, freeze input or the unity uh, input or select between two inputs that really do make this module special it's also not expensive so uh, the only thing I can say at this point is that you gotta try it out thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you next time and as usual if you like that video if you find it useful please subscribe and pass on the good word thank you go wiggle bye bye